Well, Ernie, uh, I don't know that you've probably had a round recently where you've come in with 74 and received all the congratulations and the demand going to the press center and everything. Give us the very first damage report of the day. How difficult is it out there? Uh, you don't want to believe how, how difficult it is, um, Jimmy. I mean, uh, you know, we got fairways that's 14 yards wide, uh, and that's wide fairways, and you got a 25 mile per hour wind blowing out there, and it's gusting up to 30, maybe 35. So uh, to keep the ball in play is immensely tough to do. Um, to keep your mind on what you're doing is also tough. To take mistakes, and sometimes it feels like you're making silly mistakes, but uh, you got to just take it in and, and go to the next hole. It's like every hole is a new challenge. Really, it is. Every shot almost is a new challenge. So, um, you know, some guys, I mean, I'm going to take a week off, at least a week off after this week. Uh, but I'm in there, you know, I've, I've made a lot of putts today. I've just been watching what Tiger's been doing. You know, I've, I kind of did the same today. And and uh, and that's what you got to do. you got to make the putts. We've already had Nick Price come through here and tell us that he thinks that the uh, RNA has gone over the top and this is unfair. What's your opinion? Well, I played a practice round here last Thursday, and uh, we had beautiful weather, and uh, I played a really solid practice round, and I think I shot one or two over. Um, yeah, I would say it's it's a little unfair. Um, you know, uh, you've got holes uh, 580 into the wind, uh, like the sixth hole, and you've got no room to play at. Um, they're playing us off every back of every tee, and uh, they're just stretching it to right to the limits and maybe over it. You know, um, I, I haven't seen a golf course play like this in the, in the Open Championship before, and I've, I've played maybe eight of them now. So, um, uh, you know, they've they've set a mark, you know, and hopefully they don't, they don't come back to that kind of mark again. What's the hardest thing about playing on a day like today? Is it the putting? Is it keeping it in the fairway? What is it? Um, it's, it's keeping the ball in the fairway from the word go. Um, you know, we can hit iron shots. The, most, most of these guys can hit the golf ball. Uh, but there's no room, you know. If you don't have room, I mean, I don't care how good you are, you're not going to keep the ball in the fairway. Um, the fairways are lovely. We haven't seen too many of the fairways so far this week. But, uh, you know, the guys can play the game. But uh, if you have a golf course like this, you know, I can I can take you to South Africa and put you in the field there and, and, and cut a strip of 14-yard fairway and, uh, and put you out there. Nobody's going to break ball. David Duval in Ireland on a vacation last week. Would you rather have been fishing today? No, not necessarily. I uh, just would rather would have scored better. There was some suggestion that perhaps the way the U.S. Open finished for you might have provided some motivation here. Was that the feeling coming in for you? Uh, you know, I hadn't heard that one, um, but you know, I, I don't, I don't necessarily think that would be accurate because I, I think you need to motivate yourself regardless of the outcome of the last event you've you've, you've played, and you know, it's not. My score is not because of lack of motivation. It's just a lack of good play. Is it solely good play, or is the do you, you feel the course setup is fair? It's obviously very, very difficult. You know, fair or unfair, it's not for me to say. Um, but uh, you know, it, it's. I mean, I guess you're right. It's not strictly poor play as much as you know. Uh, 14 is what really kind of killed me. I, I was going along, okay. Yeah, I think I was about three or four over the day, and. You know, buried it right in the face of a bunker there and, and got no shot. And that's after having a no shot out of the bunker on uh, back on 11. And, you know, that just kind of killed me. And, and then uh, hit a couple of good shots coming in that I made bogeys on. So, you know, all in all, the, the score is what it is. But, uh, you know, they just slip away quickly. But fair or unfair, what do you think? I, I, it's I, it's not, not for me to judge. You know, I... Uh, I wouldn't play a golf course like this every day, certainly, um, regardless of whether there's wind or not. Wind or not. Um, you know, it's just, the one thing is the golf ball is only it's less than two inches wide, so it still fits in those fairways, you know. Um, but it does seem like fairways are much wider than the golf ball. Is patience the toughest thing about a day like today? No, I don't, I don't think so. I, patience, I think, is the easiest part, um, at least it was for me. Um, it was just a, you gotta get so many good balances and good breaks, and you know, you're having to land golf balls so far short of greens, and uh, you, you just never know what it, what it's gonna do once it hits the ground, and it, it could go anywhere. And, and a few of mine bounced well today, a few of them bounced really bad. Um, 
you, know, you just never quite know. And imagine that you would have thought in any tournament that you could shoot uh, three over par and come away thinking that it was uh, quite a good round, but I would imagine you do feel pretty good about today. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, avoiding disaster, really. You know, we all know that we can't win it the first day and all we can do is throw it away. And I think anything sort of 80, 80 and above, you know, 81, 82 and above is sort of throwing it away. So I'm, I'm quite happy to get in there at 74 and, uh, and uh, have a decent time in the morning. 7.45 must be a decent time. So much discussion coming in here about how this course was so difficult and this, and the conditions, the setup and everything. Is this pretty much what you were expecting or did it exceed the expectations for difficulty? Yeah, I'd heard, uh, I'd heard on the way over to Pinehurst how difficult it was, but you cannot imagine actually coming here and trying to play it. Uh, what what uh, the RNA didn't want and we didn't want and everyone didn't want was this severe wind. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a breeze... Yes, this is a, a breeze is a normal day, but this is slightly more than normal. And, and, uh, and, and when you're trying to guess at hitting seven hands, 250 yards, it, it, you are guessing. You are guessing. And, and uh, it brings Lady Luck into it in a hell of a lot, big way. And, and uh, I was fortunate sometimes and not others. And you go where you're given and you walk off with 74. And as I say, I'm not usually very happy with 74s, but uh, right now I'm, uh, I'm quite delighted. Tom Lehman said for 30 days he thought Pinehurst was the hardest course in the world. And then he came here. How much harder is this than Pinehurst? Well, I think uh, the scores the score suggests it's a very similar field, really, I suppose. There's a few top Americans haven't come over, but it's a very similar field. Uh, most of the top 50 are playing. And, and uh, what was the average score at Pinehurst the first day? 74? This is 79. So uh, there you go, it's five shots harder. <laughs> but it is very, very difficult out there, and I'm not the only one that said that. Uh, you just hear... You know, defending champion shot 83 today, and and uh, Garcia, who who uh, we all think will be an open champion of the future, you know, can score 89. It's uh, it's uh, it's a devil out there, I can assure you. Colin, you have had so much success at 64 last week to win for the 20th time on the European Tour, on and on and on, six orders of merit. Is there something about this tournament that stands in your way mentally, or why haven't you had more success in this championship? Yeah, I mean, the other, the other three majors I've done okay in, especially the USPGA and the, and, uh, the US Open, it's just, uh, it's just uh, this one tends to come, over, come after a, a bit of a stretch in Europe. I play the Irish Open and then the Scottish Open, and, and uh, I believe that I've sometimes left my good golf there, and, and uh, I'm so glad to come here playing reasonably well for the first time in a number of years, and uh, might find myself around about the top 20 tonight, which is a big improvement than I've, that I've done in the past here. So, uh, as I say, I've got a good start time tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to the day's play tomorrow. If it's a little bit calmer, I can m make inroads into that uh, level par. But, but I'm, I'm one of a number of people that feel that, uh, that uh, four... Four seventy threes could do this, and plus eight could well win this tournament. And uh, so, I'm at uh, plus three, I'm well in there right now. Oh, I don't know how to call it, Jimmy. I didn't hit that bad a tee shot nine three yards off the fairway, and, and I'm unplayable. Uh, you know, what do you call that? I don't call that golf, to tell you the truth. I don't call that uh, very, uh, you know, smart setting up of the golf course. Uh, you know, let the guys advance the ball forward. Don't make it where it's unplayable. You know, Davis Love did it yesterday too, I heard, and couldn't move the ball, but you know, my ball never moved an inch. All it did was just fall down in the divot hole. I don't know what the heck happened with it, but, uh, you know, th that type of stuff is just brutal out there, and uh, I know it's the same for everybody, uh, but, you know, it's just not right. It really is not right uh, for, for players to take a swing at it, and, you know, you guys are supposed to do that, not us. <laughs> <laughs> do you get wind like this in Texas? Uh, n not in Dallas, where I live. <laughs> Maybe out in West Texas. But the only problem, if it's blowing this hard, you have to stay inside because of the, the dust storms. Um, so, you know, we don't get too many conditions like this. Some discussion of the yardage book and its usefulness. Did you find it to be of any use today? <laughs> well, it, you know, it's tough. I, I think on the 14th hole I had, uh, um, like, 198 to the hole and, and I'm trying to decide between an 8 and a 9 iron and I hit the 8 iron it was too much club you know last time I'm hitting a wedge from 175 yards um, it, it it's tough I mean you kind of get your yardage and figure out what the wind's doing and then you can usually narrow it down to a couple clubs but a lot so much depends on the bounce and, and where it lands and how hard or soft it lands so it is very difficult to get the ball pin high what is the secret, if there is one, to playing well in conditions like this? What do you think you did well today that enabled you to score so well? I hit the ball well off the tee. Uh, I wouldn't say I drove it well because I, I didn't use driver very often. Um, you know, I, I hit driver 
quite a bit, and I, I think today I may have hit it four times. So um, hit a lot of good one-irons and three-woods off tees. And then I'm able to get the ball up around the green. And, um, you know, I didn't hit a lot of greens, but I, I made some good up-and-downs and, and um, you know, just uh, kind of hung in there. Is this any fun at all? <laughs> It's, it's not a lot of fun when you're out there. Um, in fact, David Strange, Curtis's son, who I know fairly well, was our spotter today, and I didn't notice him until 17 green. So, you know, you're having to stay pretty focused, and, and uh, um, it's not a lot of fun, but yet when you get done, there's some satisfaction involved.